This is how the chuck sits in there. Just like that. Oh, oh it fits perfect. If I do so say myself, right? Or if I say so myself, I do say so myself. I don't know how that goes. But anyway, that fits. Just beautiful. I forgot to hit the record button, but here's the little slope. I'm ready to cut the cams. I have a mark here of where the point of the cam should end up. This is 15.7 degrees. I've set my vise over 15.7 and we're just going to come in with the end mill and just cut that off, cut that back till it's close back here and I but the point is out here at the at right at that line. You can probably barely see that mark, but it's it's just it's about a, not quite a quarter of an inch to the side there, a little less than an inch from the edge. This is the best angle I can give you because I have to operate the mill. Just doing a few thousandths at a time, just bringing it out till my mill line intersects with my mark. There, that's it. Now we need to turn around for the other angle. There you go. Now we'll turn the vise for the next angle. All right, we're swung around the other way now. 10.6 degrees. I'm gonna do the same thing.
There's the cams. It's got a little deburr. Those came out really nice. We are almost done. Time for the angles for the straps. We'll do both sides. These, this end here will be 30 degrees, both sides. And this is a very just slight angle. I don't even know what the angle is. I just kind of drew a line and uh, it's very slight, maybe 10 degrees, roughly. That will do over here. Uh, and then we're gonna put slots in those sides also. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cut the angle and then I'm gonna slot it. Cut the angle, slot it all the way through. edge find that edge this edge this edge end up in the center then take a 3 8 end mill and cut a hundred thousandths depth groove uh, in this side and then I'm going to drill a hole and tap it 832 now every corner is going to get something like this so Now we'll flip it over. We'll do the same on the other side because it's the same angle. And then, uh, then we'll do the other end. All right, this is the other end. Now this is set up at 96 degrees. So it's six degrees off to that side. Down here I have a, a thick parallel clamping on this surface here, not on the cam and the back jaw. So this is how I set it up. I took a one, two, three block. Now this is a six degree angle block. I made a whole set of these and uh, this is, uh, I made this out of stainless. Anyway, this is out of six degrees, so I set that on there. Held it up against the angle block and set the angle. This is, the, this is not a super precision angle, so. And uh, we're just gonna mill down to a scribe line and that point there close so
we got this all done pretty happy with it came out great I think a uh, lot of work uh, we got the cam done on here got the radiuses in there pivot hole slots screw holes lots and lots of work there uh, the drill the chuck fits beautiful in there and uh, I gotta hold up a little bit but we'll spin around and follow the cam action really really happy with this uh, so we got this part all done and uh, this is gonna go on top of here uh, we'll we'll have to get this all together and I have straps still to do and I have some bolts to make uh, to get this on here and uh, We'll, we'll do all that, uh, I think, in the next video. Uh, just no time right now. But I think, uh, I think you guys get the idea. And uh, see, it kind of came out like this, right? So, uh, thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll get this thing together and test it here in the next video, I think. And uh, we'll be good. Merry Christmas to everybody, and thanks for sticking with it. And just a little bit more to go. And uh, remember, Dovetail Cutters and Scribes, in stock now. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching.